Our region's business is sponsored by PNC Bank, solutions that help you achieve your goals in life. PNC, leading the way. And by Heffron Tillotson, a history of meticulous wealth management since 1948. Our region's business, innovation, transformation, momentum, improving our communities and driving technologies that will shape our region for generations. The collaboration that brings vitality, prosperity, and life to living. Stay with us for the coming half hour as we examine in depth our region's business. Now, here's your host, Bill Flanagan. Today on our region's business, taking aim at zero waste. It's an ambitious goal, but one that could pay big dividends to the environment and to the bottom lines of many businesses if they could pull it off. We'll find out why recycling is good for business in general and for one local entrepreneur in particular. And we'll see how the green movement means meat and potatoes when it comes to meat and potatoes. Discover a new grocery store that's striving to do right by nature. First, Zero Waste Pittsburgh. Dave Mazza is regional director of the Pennsylvania Resources Council, sponsor of this new initiative, and welcome. Good to see you. Thanks, Bill. Good to be here. All right, right out of the gate, we'll talk a little bit about what the council is and, and what you've been doing, but right out of the gate, what exactly is Zero Waste Pittsburgh? Well, Zero Waste Pittsburgh is a new initiative that PRC, in partnership with the Allegheny County Health Department and the Pennsylvania DEP, is rolling out to provide assistance to businesses, institutions, and special events throughout Greater Pittsburgh. Uh, to help them re reduce uh, the amount of waste that they're generating and improve or expand recycling programs. I've been doing recycling for a long time around here. I mean, so you run the program for, for the city, so it, 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 do you feel we've made progress, but there's still a lot more we could be doing? Oh, I definitely think that uh, we've made progress, uh, you know, since they packed passed Act 101 back in 1988, which been that long. Wow. basically wow. mandated uh, the curbside recycling programs throughout the Commonwealth. I think we've come a long way, but there's obviously always room for improvement. So you're participating in the curbside recycling. You kind of have to do that if you're, if you're in the city of Pittsburgh especially. How do you take this to the next level if you're a business organization or an event? Well, I think uh, one of the things that we talk about when we go out and speak to groups of people is we ask people some simple questions and we say, how many people recycle at home? And you will see most of the hands in the room will go up. And then we say, well, how many people recycle at where they work? And far fewer hands go up then. So we know that there is room for improvement there. Uh, people are used to recycling at home. It's a relatively easy process. And it's one of those things that basically is an easy thing for everyone to be able to do. So uh, we believe providing assistance to businesses and to special events and to institutions throughout the area uh, will be able to help improve uh, the recycling efforts uh, throughout the region. Well, if, if you produce less waste, if you think about this, can you actually save yourself money if you're a business or an organization? Well, you really can, and a lot of it depends on the markets. I mean, the recycling, uh, what they call recycling commodities or these recycling materials, are sold on the open market, and a lot of them have values. The values go up and down, as we know, uh, with the economy right now, some of the values are, are uh, you know, at, at low points as they have been in uh, for many years, but there is still a value to these materials. Um, I don't know of anybody who's paying for trash right now. <laughs> so uh, there are people that will pay for the recyclable. So if you can divert these materials out of your waste stream, um, not only do you stand a chance that there is some value to the materials on the market, but then for every uh, ton of material you're taking out of the waste stream, that's a ton less material you're going to pay to dispose of as trash. Hmm. So, yeah, it flows right to the bottom line it if does, you start coming to grips with this. So what can you do to help them figure this out? Well, PRC has uh, a long history of working with uh, recycling programs, helping to develop and design recycling programs. So we're able to offer things like waste audits. We can come into a business. We can find out what's flowing in the front door, what's happening to it while it's inside, and what's going out the back door, and make helpful recommendations for how businesses can make minor changes to improve uh, this flow and to reduce the amount of waste that they're generating and recycle more. So we can do these waste audits, waste assessments. We also do employee training. Uh, we can help set up uh, recycling programs. We can tell them what types of equipment and containers and signage they need to buy to develop and, and implement a successful program. So if they're interested in doing this, they don't have to reinvent the wheel. You've learned some things, hopefully, over the past nine or ten years, right? <laughs> Definitely. Uh, long, like I said, long time in the business, and we've, we've done an awful lot of these. We've done uh, somewhere around 600 waste audits for businesses in the last seven years. So we've learned an awful lot. 
Uh, we, you know, we don't need people to recreate the wheel here, and we're able to offer them our expertise and experience. Now, tell me about the event side, because that's kind of the, the coming thing, I think, in a lot of the, you're talking about the big special events that we see around Pittsburgh every year, right? Right, and again, you know, PRC has had involvement over the last several years with events like the Race for the Cure, the Vintage Grand Prix, the Great Race, um, you know, helping them green their event, to make them more environmentally friendly. And, uh, you know, as an example, with the Great Race last year, um, we help them pick out more environmentally friendly products, everything from um, recycled content paper and soy-based inks for the flyers and brochures that were printed, um, to having food waste composting on site the day of the event, and also uh, recycling containers for all the beverage uh, bottles and things that were generated as well. Because, I, yeah, I would think a major event like that where you get thousands of people, you could generate an awful lot of trash. Definitely. And there are ways, again, you know, by, by changing a little bit of the, of the purchasing habits of the t different types of materials that are bought or how materials are handled, that you can divert a lot of these materials from the waste stream, reduce your waste disposal cost, and also have a positive impact on the environment. Everything slows down in a recession, but are you finding interest in all of this? Is, is there demand? Well, I will tell you that we've actually been busier since January 1 than we have been in the last couple of years with these types of programs. Um, it seems like the recession is actually driving a lot of the businesses to take a much closer look at how they operate and to become more sustainable. I know we've heard that word sustainability thrown around a lot, um, but businesses really are looking at their bottom line and figuring out that you know, there's a lot of waste in waste. Hmm. And so by, uh, you know, changing some of their habits and, and uh, re, re, uh, looking at some of their programs, they can actually not only, again, have a positive impact on the environment, but also have a very positive impact on their bottom line. Well, if they want to find out more, get involved, have a waste audit done, how do they get a hold of the PRC? Well, you can go to our website, www.prc.org, and we also have a special hotline set up now for uh, zero Waste pitch, Pittsburgh, which is 412-770-6951. And just give that phone number a call, and we'd be more than happy to uh, provide assistance to you. All right, 770-6951. The program's called Zero Waste Pittsburgh. The Pennsylvania Resources Council, Dave Mazza, thanks so much. Bill, thanks for having me on. Next up, the business of recycling. Stay with us.